once in a while I just get this like urge like okay you gotta gotta make some content you gotta film um, just heading now down to the beach to start braiding and um, getting ready to catch my uber but I just kind of wanted to say hi and um, I'll be recording more once I get to the beach but this is kind of like a little you know before the show starts action here so I'm just waiting for my uber um, confirmation and yeah so I'll talk to you soon like making videos of when I'm on my way to go and set up the brave booth but never like when I'm actually at the brave booth so um, I mean I have a couple but um, so I'm here in the booth um, this is my view it's uh, kind of slow down here for, for Saturday but um, here in a minute if I don't pick up I plan to make a video about what happened last night in uh, Hollywood on Hollywood Boulevard with the police and the vendors and that whole mess um, just really impacted um, my business at least for the day so um, anyways I just got a text from my mom she said good luck today so thanks mom I love you um, but there's a random little dog I hope he's not lost oh no he's with the lady okay I'm gonna um, stop filming and Hopefully I can talk to you about what happened. I might choose like a quieter space and like do it tonight like when I'm at my apartment and kind of talk to you then. Plus like I'm realizing my eyebrows are a little off, a little uneven here so we just, uh, I'm going to have to edit this out. Okay, so first day of my braiding vlog here in Venice. Um, no customers at the moment so I just kind of wanted to give it inside peek into my what I do in my downtime between clients and customers so I'm just here working on working on some advertisements um, I have my suitcase here and I borrowed this chair from an artist down the way he offered it to me so I'm just sitting here filming looking like a crazy person uh, talking to myself so uh, I hope you enjoy the vlog all right well I've like relaxed a little bit like um, kind of uh, had a soda and just kind of took everything in stretched a little looked at the ocean you know the ocean is actually really calming but um it's really loud right here i should probably make this another time actually i'll go back here it's a little quieter so uh let me just kind of give you the like the lowdown of how it works down here so as far as like a vendor permit uh you don't let me like get all the vendors back here while i'm talking about it as far as like the vendor permit, um, you don't have to have a like. As far as I know, I mean, don't you know? Like this is like my little disclaimer here. Don't mark my words on all this, but from what I've experienced, um, you don't necessarily. The police, they could, but you know, I've never personally experienced it. Um, they could come up and just say, hey, crack down and be like, hey, are you are you do you have your seller's permit? Is it listed correctly? And if not, they, if not, they could fine you. Um, I think it's like three hundred dollars, but I'm not certain on that. I really don't want to know, you know? I don't want to find out. Um, but I do have them listed, you know, as an address to all my sellers from in, in case the IRS is watching this. I'm good, I got this. Um, so I want to raise any red flags, you know? Um, anyways, um, how you get a spot down here and where do you want to set up? Uh, really like where you want to set up is preference. Um, the more you can go down away from like the Santa Monica Pier, um, the busier it gets, so like depending on your opinion or how you look at it, the better the better that spot is. But um, it's you know I like to be like closer to the pier. Um, I kind of like to be like the first thing that people see after that long walk from the pier, and especially for what I do, I provide this service. So um, 
and like people can sit down and relax, take a load off before they go walk the rest of like the boardwalk, you know? So that's why I like to set up where I like to set up. I also like to set up where I like to set up because I like to set up press from the t-shirt shop and um, they just have really good vibes there and uh, they play like awesome music and it's like kind of keeps me going as I'm braiding, you know? Um, so that's that's why I prefer to set up where I like to set up. But uh, I, I definitely advise if you would, if you were to set up down here, that you would want to set up in the same spot every time if you can so that people, you know, they may, especially like the, lo the locals, the people who live here, they may walk by and see that, okay, this is what they have, or this is what they're doing, but they may not have a chance to stop. So, uh, they have customers, so I'm gonna end this short. As far as the other vendors go, uh, they're pretty, you know, like, um, I've had a few, like, actually this, like, the weight bar challenge and the, um, <clears throat> the henna tattoo is not like the guy on the corner with the organic henna and definitely not the lady, uh, with all the, like, uh, decorations, cause, um, she's, like, can be, like, unpleasant. Um, but like the other henna, uh, vendor family who also do the weight bar, um, they've actually like really taken me under their wing and, um, given me a lot of helpful advice and they always seem to kind of like look after, like, after me in one way or another. Um, the t-shirt shop across the street from where, or across the boardwalk from where I like to set up, they really have like, they've really taken me in and, um, we've become really close and I consider them like friends and, um, they look after me at times and. I'm really grateful to have like built up the relationship with them that I have. So thanks guys if you're watching, like I'm so grateful, you know, like you already know. I'm like getting shy here. But um and the other vendors, they kinda like keep to themselves, you know. I have a couple other like a lot of the older guys down here, they kinda like respect that I'm like a chick, I'm out here doing this like by myself and um they like to help me, you know, like ask to make sure make sure I'm okay. Um I have like a slow day, you know, they like feel bad and they like slip me like, I've had, you know, I had one guy just like, I know you had a bad day, like you didn't do much work, uh, you okay, you hear some gas money to go home and slip me like 25 bucks, like that was really helpful. Um, so that was nice, I mean the majority of the vendors down here, really, there's really, I just keep looking at one that he's just like a problem, like he causes problems with like the customers. Um, he like paints stuff with like his finger. Um, you know, I shouldn't I shouldn't go into detail because uh, I don't want to look like I'm doing bad business. But he's just like, ugh. Um, I met some really good friends. Like as far as the other vendors go, like um, Blair. Um, she does like really dark art. I don't know what kind of like stuff she paints with or what she paints on, uh, like canvas. And I don't know what kind of paint it is, but it's really not about that. It's about like her art itself and like what she paints and. and it's, you know, it's unique, and, um, so, Blair's, like, my good friend here, um, so, yeah, um, today, tomorrow, and Monday are my last days braiding down here for, I don't know, I really don't know if I'll return or not, but I'm gonna miss it, um, one thing I can say is it's really dirty, like, Venice Beach is just, like, a really dirty beach, um, for example, um, I had a water bottle and a soda and uh, when I was setting up and I was like setting up and I turned around to grab it because I got done I couldn't wait to like sit down and have my ice cold soda now that I'm set up to reward myself and I turn around and it's gone like people just like you really have to like fend for yourself down here and especially like nighttime it's it really dangerous and everybody's trying to hoot and holler at you and talk to you and you know it's, it's, it can be really frustrating um, what's really cool though is um, there is a lot of homeless down here which maybe if I can before after I close down um, <clears throat> go down like towards Santa Monica Pier all the way down um, that's where it gets kind of really like junky trashy people have their homes their tents um, they build like forts and homes and that's where they live um, on the beach um, there's lots of drugs down there a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of like heroin just really bad um, but um, I think it's every Saturday uh, the I'm not sure who brings this but there's like red Sometimes, like, I get really hungry when I'm down here and I really want to get at that bread, but you know what, like, mm, I don't know, like, if it, I feel, you know, it's like, it's, I'm, so, I'm not going to go into that, but, like, I'm just saying that bread looks kind of good. Not, not the stuff that's, like, all, like, out of the box, but the stuff that's, like, in the, in the paper, like, if I get hungry enough, like, I might, I might, you know, like, I, 
I just might. I might eat a loaf of bread today. Um, but I never have, you know, but times are tough. Last week here, you know. Um, anyways, it's cool that they have that. Um, this is a cool little restaurant. Um, candle Cafe and Grill. Um, you know, I've actually all these all these months I've been here, I've never really tried it. And then yesterday, um, I tried it for the first time, and um, it was really good. The customer service was like great. Like I wish I would have gone there all summer. You know. Um, so the reason that uh, you want to have a good spot is you want to be next to people. You know that you have your back, obviously. Um, if you're wanting like a quiet uh, area or a loud area or a popular area or a busy area. Uh, really depends on what you're looking for. Me personally, I like to set up uh, down closest, closer to like the pier. So I'm on the boardwalk, and you have the Santa Monica Pier, which is like two uh, two mile stretch. And there's a few reasons like I like to set up where I like to set up. And I'd say the number one is when the traffic is walking from Santa Monica to Venice. I'm pretty much one of the first things you're gonna see. And um, with what I offer, like the hair braids hair braiding it's like a service so um you're able to sit down kind of relax take a load off because you did most likely just walk like two miles from the pier to get to the boardwalk um it could work you know it, it's all of these things it's like not everybody you can't please everybody not everybody's the same so it could work against me because um there could be a good chance that maybe a customer could see okay hair braiding but they don't want to stop because they want they want to go see what else is there and you know and they'll say oh i'll i'll hit it up on my way back well by the time they get back it's too late or they've ran out of money or whatever the case and um another reason that you might want to like get here early to get the spot that you want is because you want to uh make sure that you're always in the same spot well at least from my experience and what i prefer is i like to be like in the same spot because uh that way all the you know people that actually live here and that are always like down here just walking by they can see like oh, okay there's there's somebody and she sells this or she does that or um i'm gonna come back and get this done and they know exactly like where to come back to but if you're always moving up and down the boardwalk um then people aren't gonna know you know so location i'm gonna uh, walk and talk a little bit here um, cause I'm gonna go to CPS and get some breakfast, well, some Cheez-Its, um, so, um, to answer some of these questions about, like, do you need a permit, and, um, to kind of just go over, like, what it is like to be a vendor here, um, I started a video yesterday, but I, honestly, like, I don't, I, I don't like the lighting, and, um, I just decided to make a new one, but I'll probably throw some little bits and pieces into this video from yesterday's as well. Um, so the most important thing about getting your spot in Venice Beach is arriving early. So um, early would be considered like 7 a.m., 8 a.m., no later than like 10 a.m. Um, if you do arrive after 10 a.m., you can get a spot, although it's going to be like in a bad spot, like um, next to a really loud like band or um, really tiny spot or really trashy spot, etc. Uh, as far as the other vendors go, um, I wouldn't say that they're territorial. Um, everybody kind of works together and kind of looks after each other for the most part. And um, how you mark your spot is kind of what I showed at the beginning of the video is putting your putting all your items behind the concrete into the, in the sand while you wait until I think it's 10 or 11 until you can pull all your items um, forward and start setting up your your booth. Um, some of the I've heard of vendors I've never seen it but being territorial. Um, usually it happens amongst like the homeless, the transits, um, those are the ones that are most like territorial and want to um, kind of try and run stuff around here, but uh, I've heard of one way of marking your spot so that absolutely nobody can get it is they will actually 
defecate on the spot. Um, so if you're, I mean, yeah, so if you, um, instead of just putting, because when you put your items on the sand before you bring them forward, you don't have to put like your entire setup. You can put like a chair or a crate or a box, but um, then later bring your other stuff. But uh, yeah, I've heard of that happening. Uh, so I've been told if you see that or you, you hear that that's like human crap, um, don't even like go near that spot. And like who's gonna want to, right? It's gonna have like a smell or it's just disgusting. So, um, let's see. Uh, some of the regulations that are enforced down here, well, you know what? They're really, they're regulated, but they're not really as much enforced. So, um, basically one of them would be like, um, they want you to close down your booth by 8 a.m. Um, I'm sorry, 8 p.m. I'm crossing here, so I'm kind of distracted. Um, so, the rule is when the sun goes down, and that usually happens around 8 p.m. in the summer. And um, I haven't, I've yet to be ticketed for being set up and braiding past 8 because being that I do arrive late, um, I arrive late because I take the metro to get here and it's like a two hour commute and then you know I was working those graveyards at Denny so um, I had to sleep during the day. Uh, one advantage to arriving late is that, I'm going to sit down for a minute, um, is that the other vendors that have been here, that have been there since like seven or eight in the morning, they end up packing up at like four or five and then you're just getting there. So, if anything, you can wait for them to leave. There's like one guy in particular, like right around my spot, that he uh, leaves pretty early. So, I know like when I come at a certain time, most likely he'll be just leaving and I can grab his spot. Um, 